Diana Denmark here and I hope you're ready to relax, get into the same moment because today I want to talk about bringing Huga into your life uh, and I've made videos about Huga before. If you click up there, uh, either with your mouse, if you're sitting at the computer or with your finger on your, on your phone, uh, I've got a whole playlist about Huga, about life in Denmark and some of my travel videos. So anyway, but there's more Huga up there. But I want to talk about Huga today as, we, as we're moving into a new season here. But the, the thing to know about Huga is a lot of these things, you're doing them already. You just didn't know there was you know, a word for it. And it's not just about uh, you know, the candles and the rugs and all the, the, the furry things. I mean, that, that is, of course, a big part of it, but it's not, the, it's not all of it. Uh, so if you are in you know, the Southern Hemisphere, and looking for some summer huga, and I'm, I'm going to give you a few ways to get it. So, huga, I've, I've talked about it before and what it is, and it, it really is um, it, it, to get the huga into your life on a day to day basis, it's just about being a bit more intentional about it. Somebody asked me, I can't remember if it was here on YouTube or on Instagram, if I could make a video about uh, how I am uh, always so cheery. The answer to that is I, I choose to be cheery. I, I choose to look on the bright side because I, I, I don't want to go back to the dark side. So it, it's just a, a case of being intentional about it and you know making these things happen and making the, the hookah happen. And it's not difficult. Um, so I'm, I'm going to give you a, a few ways you can do that. Uh, the first thing is, of course, the, the first thing you think about hookah is making everything cozy and warm and comforting and that is a big part of it and it doesn't need to be you know lighting candles though in Denmark we light candles all, all year round uh, and it doesn't need to be you know the real candles you can have the LED candles if you have uh, pets or children or you know worried about fire risk but I use candles all the time if, if you follow me on Instagram you will see that the other day um, I have, you know, some really nice uh, candle holders and I burn those in the evening, you know, when I'm getting ready for bed, when I'm uh, reading my book in bed and, and getting all cosy and hoogly. Uh, I also um, lit a candle this morning because it was really dark this morning when I got up and I wasn't feeling it and I had a candle uh, a, a candlelit shower so it, you, you don't need to keep them for you know in your living room use them at the breakfast table uh, you know wh whenever you need a, a little bit of extra oomph if, if you've seen my fly lady video where I am doing my evening routine you will see that I have candles in our um, kitchen and that is part of my evening routine when I'm you know uh, cleaning up after dinner uh, the kids are making their packed lunches we light the candle we turn up the music and that's a, a way for us to make that moment hoogily so it, it's just a case of being intentional about it and, and especially if you're kind of dragging your feet you know just light a candle whether it's in the morning or lunchtime it can be any time of day uh, and also you know get yourself a nice spot in your house where it can be your little corner. That could be part of your office, um, and perhaps you've got a nice place you can sit in your bedroom. Just get, you know, uh, set yourself up. Uh, my, my, my place, my spot, like Sheldon's spot, is here in the living room. This is where I sit, and I've got my little footstool, and I sit here in the evening and I get my, my blanket over me, and I read uh, a couple of chapters of the book. And I've got, you know, um, my cup of tea and some biscuits. Uh, I've got also, you might want to make yourself up, I've talked about this in the fly lady thing before, uh, making yourself up a little uh, pamper basket that you can have beside your bed or in your sewing room or in your office where it's just, you know, and, and, and pamper baskets can be anything you like. Uh, I've got, you know, books that I'm reading. Uh, I've got my headphones some cream just to rub into my, my hands or my feet, um, some sweets, <laughs> normally some kind of uh, Swedish uh, polys or Swedish chocolate. So ju just get yourself set up for, for a hookah moment because, you know, it doesn't need to be 
the whole day, you can just take 10 minutes and say, okay, now I'm going to have a bit of hygge and I'm going to sit and just, it's just that thing of being intentional about it. Now, the other thing, hold on, I had some notes. Um, oh yeah, hygge for us in Denmark, if you, if you look away from the kind of comforting and all the candles, it's just about making the everyday thing special. To give you some examples uh, from, from my life, if, if you have seen my winter bathing video, you'll, you'll know that I skinny dip all year round with my two besties, my Danish besties. And our little ritual is that one of us takes uh, a thermos of hot tea and some kind of snack. And once we've been in the water, uh, we come up and we kind of put the world to rights and we, we have our little snack. And we just make it hoogly. That's our little hygge time every day. And you may have seen that um, my friend V because she gave me a really nice little porcelain cup. So now we can sit with our porcelain cups and enjoy that. And it, it's nothing out of the ordinary. It's just like taking some nice serviettes and using those um, when, when you have dinner. We eat dinner in the kitchen every night. That's where we have our dinner. And I always make an effort just to, you know, cut a little flower from the garden or a plastic flower and put it in a vase, a couple of candles. Just think about it. If you're having trouble, uh, like, getting the hook into your life, think about, you know, if you were inviting friends over, uh, you know, for coffee or for dinner, what would you do in your room to, you know, to prepare for the guests coming? Or, you know, what, what would you wear? How would you dress if, you, if your guests were coming over? And then think about why aren't you doing that for yourself on your own? Even if you're sitting on your own, you can sit at a nice table, you can have your um, glass of water or Diet Coke or whatever you drink out of a nice china uh, crystal uh, glass. Don't, don't save your good stuff. You're, you know, you are worth it. And, to, you know, I've said this before, every day is a special occasion. So just, you know, use your nice jewellery and... That, so that's all part of Hugo. It's just making the everyday things special, appreciating the moment, being in the moment and, you know, not, not saving it for a rainy day. And if it is a rainy day, why don't you get out there? I mean, get your raincoat on and go out for, um, for a good walk around the block. I, I was down swimming with um, my bestie, Helena, yesterday. And if you saw on Instagram, it was pouring with rain. It was cold in Driech, we're, we're really getting the autumn weather here now. And we went first and you know, we always think we must be daft. I mean, who would want to go swimming in this weather? But we also said, you know what, those are the best days because it was so much fun because it was so silly standing there with an umbrella about to skinny dip in the sea and me standing there with all the seaweed. Uh, so it, it's just, you know, t taking what life throws at us and, and turning it in, into something, you know, a positive experience. Okay, let me see. I've been talking for eight minutes now. Okay, uh, I'll do one last thing. The other way that we can get some hygge into our lives is by planning for the hygge. Uh, and what I mean by that is, you know, the, the Danes, um, where we talk a lot about, oh, we're really looking forward to something happening, oh, that's going to be hygge a lot of it is the anticipation, it's the build-up. It's a bit like, you know, when, when you're going on a journey, it's, it's, the, it's the travel, it's the journey that's getting there is, is just as much of the fun. So, you know, reach out to some friends. Maybe you can meet up for a coffee or a walk around the block in the rain. Uh, perhaps you can plan a little trip. That's the kind of thing um, that I'm going to be doing uh, this winter. There's some friends that I used to work with uh, in Luxembourg, and I'm hoping to see them again Maybe we'll meet up in Brussels, maybe we'll meet up in Paris. That's something I'm going to plan for. So we, we can plan for, for these uh, hygge moments. And it's all in the expectation, it's all in the build-up. You know, it's like, um, well, especially for me, planning for Christmas and uh, getting everything ready for that. I, I love that season because it gets me through the dark days and nothing better than, than planning for it and looking forward to it. You know, just like when you were a child, when you were looking forward to stuff happening. Oh, and one last thing, and I know it's, it's going to sound funny uh, in the hygge context, but declutter. 
And I know you're thinking, but hold on, isn't that a kind of fly lady and Marie Kondo thing? Yes, it is, but when, when we get rid of what's not working for us and getting rid of all the stuff that we're not using, not enjoying, it really paves the way to see what you do enjoy. Uh, and that can be anything like, you know, say, say you've got a whole lot of um, kids' games, get rid, rid of the ones that you're not playing, you're not enjoying, and maybe you'll start playing uh, games with the kids. Here's a, here's a couple that, you know, we always play a rummy cup, and that's something that we normally do on holiday, but we've started doing it again, you know, after dinner. Uh, and thanks to Lucy, who always loves a good decluttering video, uh, she mentioned this game, and, and we're now playing that one. So, and this is, this is not, these are not games that take two hours of your afternoon or your evening. They take about 20 minutes to half an hour. And you just had a wee hooga moment with the family. So, you know, everybody can get involved in it. But if we declutter what we're not using, not loving, it really just gives us a chance to see what, what we, we do enjoy and enjoy what we have. So anyway, on that note, I am going to sit back, I'm on my break, I'm going to have a wee uh, read of one chapter of a book and uh, have my cup of tea. But anyway, I hope you can get some hygge into your day. Um, was there anything else? I'm just trying to read my notes over there. I don't normally make notes, I normally just speak off the cuff. But uh, Oh yeah, and you know what, let's just celebrate whatever there is to celebrate. Uh, when I was down swimming yesterday afternoon, with Helena. Um, there were three ladies uh, there and they were looking at us <laughs> as if we were mad because you know we had the umbrella and uh, you know it's pouring with rain and they said you know you're kind of crazy but it's fun crazy and Helena said yeah uh, and when we're down here for a skinny dip in the morning we have the Christmas tree when it's like <laughs> Christmas we've got a tiny little Christmas tree or we do a, a Saint Lucia procession so just celebrate anything there is to celebrate. We don't know what's around the corner, we don't know what's coming, so let's get some hygge in there. Anyway, and on that note, live long and prosper. May the Danish hygge be with you, uh, and I'll see you very soon. Okay, bye for now.